Nick here with tinywoodstove.com and I'm gonna show you our six methods of storing firewood on our tiny homestead. Follow me. In my mind, there's three categories of firewood storage. You have outdoor, indoor, and then if you have a mobile space. So we actually store the bulk of our firewood in our solar shed. We have a small eight by 10 shed that houses our batteries and our charge controller and inverter. And then on the back side of that, we have a small wood storage shed. It has open air sides. And then we cut our wood eight to 10 inches long. And then we double stack it, uh, which is roughly a cord. And that's, that's about what we need to burn for a season. So this is my little trail running trail. We also ride motorcycles on it and the kids will hike on it. But we had a, a tree fall down, but it's a fairly, it's not real dry. So I'll cut it up, but I'm not gonna be burning it this year, but we'll put it in our, our firewood cache. Another outdoor method of storage, which is our little mobile firewood caches. So this is one of our firewood caches. Uh, we put it on a roughly a four by four pallet. And then we just took some cattle grate uh, or cattle fencing and wired it together. This is wood that we are, are not gonna be necessarily burning this season, but it's uh, stuff that was down, um, you know, fairly dry and we're putting it in here to finish curing or for future seasons. So the ideal moisture content for firewood is less than 20%. So 15 to 20%. And depending on how fresh it is, um, you know, it could be upwards of 50% or more. Um, if you have stuff that's wet, you can just cut it into four foot uh, lengths and you could just stack it in here like that. Um, Cause dry wood splits much easier than wet stuff. So you could either put it in long sections or you could put it into rounds, put it in here, let it cure and then split it when it's, uh, you know, that moisture content is more like 15, 20% instead of 30 or 40. So uh, the base of our little firewood cache is gonna be a pallet. Pallets are everywhere in our little uh, shop development at Tiny Wood Stove World Headquarters. Um, there's pallets, uh, piles of pallets all over the place uh, that people are just giving away. Um, you probably go on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist and find plethora of pallets which actually is a really good firewood source as well. Uh, this is a really big one, so I'm gonna cut it down to be four foot by four foot. Um, there's, there's a good gap between here. That's probably gonna be okay. I could probably put the metal blade on my hack uh, sawzall and pull off some more slats if I wanted to get that more solid. But I'm, in this one, I'm probably going to put um, full logs, stack up full logs. So I'm going to leave it as is for right now. So now we're going to go cut our cattle fencing. So these will be the sides. Then we got just electrical staples. We're going to secure them to the base with. Doesn't take too much wire, just enough to, to secure it. So I can finish wiring up the back and then I can start stacking stuff in here and then maybe get it to this height. Um, I guess if I'm doing long sections, I could put the front section on, wire it up and then just set it in. When you start getting high, you wanna avoid this. Well, you wanna avoid that. And you wanna avoid having a low spot like this because I have a pool that's just sitting because it's, it's sloping down. Um, also, when I pulled down on, on my tarp, it ripped the corner. 
I'm gonna get some little corner things or maybe use some cardboard or something to put over the corners. And then if I fill up my, like if I would have put a couple more logs here, so it's just kind of a natural slope. So you could put a couple more and then slope it to the edge, put something on the corners, then your tarp won't get punctured and you won't have like a little bird bath there. All right, so that is outdoor storage. That's what we do for outdoor storage. Um, next up, what if you're on the road or when we were on the road? So we had, we pulled our Airstream with a F-250 truck and we had a topper on it. And then we would just keep firewood in the back of our truck. So when we were on the road, we would use um, firewood tote and we would just have, um, we had two uh, totes that we could just keep in the back and then uh, it holds. This is probably, I don't know, maybe two days worth. And then, um, you know, if we were parked, we would maybe have a bigger pile out, maybe under the trailer. In the back of the truck, you know, you can store a fair amount, but this is a handy way to uh, keep it contained and also to transport it from storage underneath the topper or maybe in the belly of your bus or something like that to taking it then into your space and it kind of keeps it nice and bundled. So we've talked about outdoor storage. We talked about mobile storage. Next up is indoor storage. So we have a couple solutions that we use inside. Let me show you. You want to store as much wood as you can inside because that's just going to mean less trips out to the cold to actually stoke your fire. Um, right now we have um, uh, two areas that we store wood inside and then we're going to get a third um, shortly. Uh, we're going to be putting our stove on the wood storage stand and we're going to be making over our hearth soon. Um, but for right now we have, um, I got my tote again. We have our <clears throat> drawer. Inside the drawer, we have a infrared thermometer. We got the moisture meter. We got matches, um, fire starters. I have a little kindling hatchet. We got our sweep to clean stuff up. We keep in here some stove bright paint if we need to do any touch up. We got in here also some creosote sticks um, to, to clean out the flue. <clears throat> we like to do whittling in front of the fire and to take all the, uh, the whittling scraps and we throw them in the drawer. It's a great fire starter. We got some birch bark, um, which is also a great fire starter, but there's also room for stacking wood in here. But this is just a handy out of sight space that we can store wood that's right next to the stove. I think we can probably put the whole tote in here. And we just shut it and it's out of sight. We can take this out and go get another load and, and bring it inside. Uh, the other place that we store wood inside is a little wood crate over here. I'll show you that. So we have um, two other little crates. This is an old vintage produce crate. And uh, right now there's books in this one, but we typically keep our uh, North Idaho energy logs or our compressed logs in this one. And we usually just use those for overnight burn. And then we'll put some kindling in this other, other one. We're gonna have to kick Paisley's books out of there. So yeah, we have uh, indoors, we have three areas. We got under the, uh, under the couch there. We're gonna have some under the wood storage stand. The wood storage stand is going to put the stove a little higher, give us some storage underneath and it just looks kind of cool. And then we have our um, Presto compressed logs here and then some kindling here for, for getting fire started. So that's our, our spaces for uh, storing wood inside. Uh, another great place inside for storing wood is little crevices that aren't really used. So maybe beside cabinets, under stairs, um, where you can just stack stack wood that's indoors 
it's gonna help cure it because it's a warmer environment. And um, it's gonna be super handy because you don't have to go out in the cold to uh, get fuel for, for the fire. So there's all manner of racks that you can do inside the space. Uh, a buddy of mine took some galvanized pipe and um, 90s joint tees and kind of built a pretty tall rack. He doesn't have a small wood stove, he has a large wood stove, but it holds you know, 16, 18 inch chunks and he can put a couple days worth of wood on that rack. And then he put it on casters so he can kind of wheel it around. So another option for outdoor storage, like indoor, you can build different types of racks to hold wood outside. Um, you want that to be covered. So like maybe on a covered porch or um, a deck or a patio or maybe under your awning, um, you can have some type of rack. Or you can get something like this that's a uh, kind of a prefabbed, pipe rack. So we're going to assemble this real quick. So this thing measures approximately 12 inches deep, 38 inches tall, and 40 inches wide. Uh, this is something compact enough that you could tuck this inside somewhere if you had along a wall or maybe under some stairs or uh, and then you could put some baskets or something underneath it with fire starters and other accessories it would look good and uh, be very functional the five kilowatt usually i cut my wood to be about eight inches the the firebox is um wider than that but you want some air on either side so i like it eight to ten inches is is ideal so this wouldn't fit on there you could put a piece of plywood on the bottom to hold it or you could put energy logs or or you know 12 to 13 inch chunks on the bottom and then stack, you know, the smaller, smaller wood, maybe even two layers um, on top. So this is uh, another um, either indoor or outdoor firewood storage option. So those are the six firewood storage options that we use here on our homestead. If you have tips, tricks, feedback, we'd love to read them down in the comments. If you'd like to watch how we process all our firewood, check out this video here. Thanks for watching.